we run Twitch. Check two. Ah, okay. <coughs> okay. So I think live. So yeah. Um. Hi, anyone who might be watching. This is my first ever live stream, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, but I'm just gonna basically do some drawing. Um, probably be on for like an hour or two, maybe? I'm not sure yet. See how it goes. Um, let's check that the fine level. Okay. Anybody's watching in the chat can let me know if the music levels and my voice level is sort of okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm basically just gonna work on this drawing. Um, I started it a few days ago. It's a commission for someone. Um, so yeah, they basically wanted me to draw something similar to this image in the corner here, which is an animation that I made a few years ago. Um, so I'm just going to try and create something with kind of atmosphere, but they wanted it to be a bit darker. And I'm obviously upper torso as well. I'm just going to work on this and see how far I get with it. So see, I've got some reference photos here. Building gun. Um. Those and try and draw stuff in around the figure. Just add some deep. Still getting my set. A little bit cold, so if you clearing my th apologize. Oh yeah, and um, the music is uh, from Nightride.fm. Well, anybody's wondering. If you want to check that radio station out? You could the Nightride.fm, and it's got stuff on there. Okay, let's see where I left off last time. Yeah, I was doing these welding gun things. <coughs> Back to those. Just kind of looking various reference images and not really copying anything exactly. I'm just kind of looking at parts and hashing them together in some way, switching bits around. It's more difficult than just copying. That good about copying. Perfect. So try and mix it up a little bit.
Bostu says, very nice drawings. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. while I'm drawing <laughs> try and not think about it because it's like server effect Sue says, I like wires. Many, many wires. Wires are good. Yes. It's true. Wires also. But yeah, as you can start off extremely in case of defining it, uh, refining it, defining it more. It's kind of like sculpting, actually. It that way I draw anyway. Start with a blob and then carve into it. So it's like to just ships 
in with the instead of trying. Oh, I've just seen uh, Facebook, Richard, Richard Garland has asked a question um, saying, is it easier to draw by hand or using the computer? Uh, they're different. I used to find it easier to draw on paper. Um, and then when I went to uni, we had to do a lot of stuff digitally. So I got used to the, doing that. Um, and now I find it kind of harder to draw on paper because I haven't done it in a long time. Um, but yeah, at the minute I'm using um, a display, a pen display, which is like basically a monitor that you can draw straight onto. So it's a bit closer to drawing on paper than using like a normal graphics tablet. But it's still different. So yeah, they both have learning curves and it seems like if you focus too much on one, you can kind of lose skill with the other. So I'm hoping to try and do more work on paper and maybe buy like a drafting table so that it doesn't mess up my back drawing on paper too much. Into it.
Impostor says put more wires. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put more wires, obviously. It's not enough wires. <laughs> I keep having to mute myself because I need to cough. Bosto says, the more wires, the more cyberpunk. <laughs> They're just the easiest thing to draw. Like, that's probably why I draw so many of them, because, yeah, it uh, doesn't take so much effort. But sometimes it... Uh, well, because they are easy to draw, it's easy to just draw wires and that makes it cyberpunk. <laughs> so I have to find other ways to make things look cool. But for this one, I think it needed wires. Yes, so put that picture back up actually. Yeah, so if anyone missed the start, I'm trying to draw something similar to this colored image here in the cor in the middle, which is uh, my own animation. It's trying to recreate the sort of mechanical, biomechanical stuff from this image. But I did draw this like, well it's actually a redrawing, the the animation was made from an image that I redrew after like, oh man I don't even know now how many years. The original image was quite a few years ago and I redrew it and made an animation out of it. But that was a few years ago so like, I think my style has kind of changed since then but I don't know. It's uh, interesting to go back and kind of almost redraw it again in a different way. Also, just kind of want to make her look more robotic 
in terms of like head meets her neck and where her arm meets her torso. As I think um, I usually just start drawing a figure and then I add all the cyberpunk stuff to it. So sometimes it can end up looking just like a like a human that's had stuff done to them rather than just a robot. But I suppose maybe that uncertain is kind of the point of cyberpunk in some ways. Like you don't know if it's human or it's robot. I don't even know what I'm talking about <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm just talking complete crap. But uh, yeah. I don't want to change the music. Okay, sorry. Some technical difficulties there. <laughs> Apparently the stream is lagging a bit. And I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> so, yeah. I need to get an ethernet cable, that's probably going to help. Anyway, Wow, I've been streaming for like half an hour already. Time flies when you're doing this.
Bosto says, very nice music works with the drawings you make. Yeah. It's a synth wave. Cyberpunk music. <laughs> um, yeah, it's streaming from nightride.fm, which is a really cool radio station for synth wave and other drum and bass and 40s jazz. <laughs> lo-fi but I think it's only safe to stream the synthwave station for copyright stuff I guess It's hard to talk and draw at the same time. <sighs> I'm so used to not doing that. Yeah, just trying to turn this scribble into some kind of defined shape. <clears throat> it's harder than it looks. I mean, probably looks hard, but... <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know if I like this circular thing. Get rid of that. Yeah, making these mechanical things is most challenging, really. It's not organic at all, <laughs> in several senses of the word, I guess. It's like <laughs> strange, unnatural shapes. It's really hard to make it convincing without sort of copying straight from reference, which don't really like to do sort of just trying to piece it together in some way. And getting the perspective right as well <laughs> is half the battle. And then I tend to try and put all the details in straight away, because I like details. And then I realize that, okay, the shape isn't right, so I have to redraw that. To try and get the shape kind of right before being tempted to add those details. Fosto said, it's very relaxing watching this, seeing how the magic happens. Yeah, I don't know what it, like, I hope it's good to watch this, because <laughs> for me it's like a mixture of enjoyment and frustration <laughs> sometimes. <clears throat> Mostly enjoyment, but yeah. to learn more keyboard commands. So I'm working in Paint Tool Sci right now, which is uh, like a lightweight drawing and painting program. Uh, I think a lot of people use it for like manga, anime style artwork. Um, I like it just for sketching and sometimes for doing line work because it's really smooth. Um, you get some nice lines out of it and the lightweightness of it it's like opens in two seconds but i don't really know any of the key keyboard commands for it so probably not as fast as i could be Ok, 
Okay, so I'm trying to add detail again way too fast. <laughs> shit looking right before I go into too much of the detail. Am I listening to Italo Disco? Seems like not the right music for this drawing. <laughs> yeah, I've also said Italo Disco is very good. Yes, I like Italo Disco, but it's not cyberpunky. <laughs> Okay, I keep getting lost. Where am I? So yeah, like I said, this is like my first time doing this. <laughs> it's a bit strange. I'll have to get used to it. Definitely different than just lying in bed drawing. <laughs> losing the mouse when I click to my other monitor and then I try and come back onto this one it kind of doesn't do anything when I'm with the pen and I have to use the mouse to come back to it which is a bit weird. I don't know why it's doing that. perspective on this. It's not correct.
a little bit weird, but it's better. So I'm trying to get something <laughs> really complicated. So we're trying not to put too much detail in. Sometimes you get carried away and then you look back on it and it's like, is that too small details? Are they even going to be noticed in the overall image? Like, it's, it's difficult to know sometimes. Actually, what I'm going to do to make it a bit easier. Drop this down for now. So then I can kind of see it a bit better in this thing up here. I mean, not really that much, but <laughs> it's better actually. Yeah, like I said, I'm not massively familiar with this software.
Vostu says this song is very nice. Yes, it's very nice. It's a. Uh, I kind of want more darker music though, but it's fine. Vostu says, I wonder if those wires are tasty to eat like spaghetti. <laughs> Don't say that! Now I'm just going to think that it's all just spaghetti every time I look at this and any other image with wires. Spaghetti punk. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yes. Hot spaghetti cyberpunk. Hot spaghetti cyborg woman. Next she'll be saying she's got meatballs. Vostu says at least it's not the flying spaghetti monster. Yeah, that guy's not very fun. He ruins everything. Okay, so I want to try and add some detail to the to the face and the rest of the body just to make it look a bit more like she's not made of like flesh, I guess. task. I'm just going straight to adding details because <laughs> it's fun. <clears throat> some wires in her throat here that will probably help.
Oh yeah, the cool thing about this software, you hit H on the keyboard, it flips it so you can see if things are a bit wonky, which they are a little. This eye is not supposed to be there. I don't even really need to add these details right now because I'm going to ink this anyway, but <laughs> I like to... I kind of like to get the the roughs as sort of refined as possible before even going to inking. So yeah, the reason I decided to start doing this, or one of the reasons, is because I haven't actually been drawing as much as I would like to recently. And I thought this would be a good way to force myself to do more of it. <laughs> I've been taking on a few freelance projects that kind of didn't involve drawing and it was good for the experience and the money and stuff but I just realized that <laughs> I'm not going to get better if I'm not spending like every free minute <laughs> doing it so I just have to take a step back from projects that don't involve drawing and try and just use all any of my free time that I've got from my 
day job to spend practicing. Um, and I thought this would be cool because I can set like a, a schedule and stick to it and that will help with that as well. Discipline. Oh, there's Nicholas in the chat, or in the, yeah, on the Facebook chat. Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> he says, yo, cool drawing. Thank you very much. Yes. I'm hoping it'll look cool when it's all cleaned up and stuff too. So yeah, I'm just going straight in for the details. I guess it's has to happen at this point. Um, kind of have to roll with it. And figure out those welding guns later. <laughs> I just realized I can pop out the chat on YouTube so I don't have to have the video stream open. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> I wonder if cyborgs would even have eyelashes. Probably not. But it looks nicer with them, damn it. <laughs> I guess she could have synthetic eyelashes. I guess, why wouldn't she if she has synthetic everything else? Fuck it, I'm drawing them. Says very good idea. Yes. What the eyelashes? Or the pop? Oh wait, you mean the you talking about the pop-up chat? I forget. There's a lag on this, so sorry. Uh, don't even know how long the lag is to be honest. <coughs> Maybe that's too much eyelash. Oh, I 
I just realized there's like there's a lag in general but I'm watching the chat from OBS and not actually well I've got both YouTube the pop out chat now open as well but I'm watching through OBS and it's like got even more of a lag <laughs> double lag it's always good Well, sometimes I don't even know where where to add more detail, how much to clean it. <laughs> you clean up one part and refine that and then you realise another part looks raggedy so you have to go back and do that. It's all going to be cleaned up in the final stages anyway but I'm slightly obsessed. That here. Not quite at the right angle. This is weird. I'm like, I feel like I'm just analyzing everything now because I have to talk about what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe this will help me to understand myself and my artwork. Or it'll just make me sound insane. <laughs> I feel like the synth wave station is no longer synth wavy. I like it, but it's not what I expected. Yeah, jazz rock. What? What? Why is this on the night ride? I mean, it's cool. I like it, <laughs> but it's not what I thought I would be listening to. I haven't listened to night ride in a while, actually. So I guess a bunch of new music has been added. Who says I blame it on Dennis G? No, man. Don't. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty funky. more detail on these metal parts they are kind of don't feel right to me something about this needs to go more in this direction I think maybe it just needs a wire Oh, 
Well, this is a more fitting song, or more synth-wavy song. It's a song by Bosto. <laughs> He's in the chat. <laughs> I should turn the volume on this one up actually because it's pretty cool. You don't have to listen to me talking crap.
Very nice song. Why is the stream stopped though? Oh, it's just quiet. Vostu says, no idea who that guy is. What, Vostu? Oh yeah. It's <laughs> a strange form of modesty there. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hmm, that's odd. I feel like this whole section here was supposed to be like coming out of her head, but now it feels like it looks like small little welding guns. So maybe I will roll with that. Hmm. Yeah, it could, wor could work. Something's happening here. Just need to tidy it up a bit and then see how that looks, but I think it works.
So yeah, just kind of moving stuff around. No, because I realized these little wires look like uh, like welding guns. So. moved them over and now I'm trying to fill in the gaps of where I moved stuff. It's a good thing about digital art, you can move things around and not have to redraw them every time. Maybe when I colour this I might do like sparks of where the welding guns are actually touching her as well. So yeah, there's some more wires for you, Vosto. I hope you're happy. I think I need to take a break from this weird section up here, or like, it's it all becoming one big wire to me now. I'm gonna work on her boobs for a while. <laughs> So I just realized I've been on for like an hour and 40 minutes, so I guess I'll go till I'll go for the next 20 minutes, half an hour, and then finish. I kind of wanted to finish all the um, rough work on this so that I could move on to inking, but maybe I'll save that for tomorrow or something. This always takes longer than planned. Okay, I'm getting distracted by the freaking welding thing again. <coughs> Seeing things that need fixed.
Alright, where these wires are actually going doesn't have to be uh, necessarily going anywhere, but <laughs> just in terms of where do I draw the end of it? Try and make them a bit more interesting as well by putting little thingies on them. I don't know what they're called, I just call them thingies. This is one of the first times I've actually sketched something from scratch on my new pen display, <coughs> which is like a m quite a big monitor, and it's really hard not to add tons of detail when the screen is so big, but I guess that's a good thing. It's easier to add more detail now. I like my detail. So yeah, I'm hoping that when I start inking this, it'll be easier to see what's going on or in this area, because at the minute it's a bit crazy, like spaghetti. But when I put all the shading and the tones and stuff in with the shading and the inking, it should hopefully take, sh take some shape, and I've got this harsh light source coming from this direction as well so I can work with that all of this dark area will be shaded not necessarily in black but hopefully it'll just make the whole thing like a bit more solid looking in these areas where there's a lot of stuff going on I can take out some of the wires if it's too crazy. 
much to Vosto's dismay. I should probably go back to this welding thing where I started. Hmm, it's a bit not so happy with it. I don't know what I was trying to do. I was copying a reference too much, I think. Like, or trying to not copy the reference but still copy it, which never goes well. Um, yeah, something has to happen with this. Bosto says, hey, finally a good dystopian tune. We love them synthwave dystopias. Yeah. It uh, fits with the artwork, right? I mean, this is kind of what I thought the whole thing... But I know that Night Ride has a big mix of stuff, so you never really know what you're going to get. Which is fine. Maybe not everyone wants to listen to crazy cyberpunk dark synth.
Still don't know what's going on with this welding gun, man. It's, it's a bit weird. Let me turn it this way for a sec. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. It's all a bit wonky. Slightly better, but not quite there. Gosh, it's so messy. We'll get there eventually. It's a sculpture, I have to remember. So Chi Vun is in the chat saying hi. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for watching. I didn't think I would get many viewers, which I haven't really, but I didn't know I was going to get people that I don't know. So thanks for joining and hope you like it. Is uh, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, it's always hard to be an artist, but when you're just starting out, it can be difficult, overwhelming. But you just got to keep practicing, and 
Yeah, that's all you can do is just draw as much as possible. says maybe you have some hints and tips for beginners uh yeah i mean i guess it depends on what you want to draw but for most artists i think good advice is to like start by drawing things from observation so if you can draw from life like if you can do some life drawing i know you maybe can't go to classes right now if things are not open but if you can go to a life drawing class or if you can just go outside and like draw people from your observation or just draw like objects and things it's a good way of starting to learn and then once you get comfortable with that you can kind of apply those things that you've learned to trying to draw your own characters and things like that um yeah, it's it's hard to give advice because I think different people learn in different ways. Um, but if you want to draw character art and things like that, there's a lot of good tutorials on YouTube you can look up um, with a lot of good advice. Um, but a good thing that something that really helped me when I went to because I went to university to study animation, and one of the things that really helped me was. Um, so basically just drawing the rough shape of a character first because I used to always go straight into the details instead of just trying to build on it so if I was like trying to draw a picture like this I would start with the face and the head and I would do this level of detail straight away before even moving on to the body and that it really meant that I couldn't get poses right I couldn't get the overall like composition of the image looking right so I think a good thing to do is to just loosen up a lot and draw your character really rough first um, and get that shape looking right like get the pose looking right and everything and you, you'll learn how to do a lot of that if you go to a life drawing class because sometimes you'll have to draw a pose in like 20 seconds so you have to be really loose and fast um, and then once you get the rough sketch looking right, you can add more details. So that's just something that helped me. I don't know if it will help you, because um, not everybody's the same. I mean, I know there are artists out there who can just draw amazing detailed stuff. Like, God, what's that guy's name? There's an artist who draws these really intricate things and he literally just starts from the center and works his way out, out so that it can be done like that but I don't think everybody is like him so I do think that I know what helped me was to sort of do the thing where you draw it quite loosely and roughly first and then add detail and build on it I hope that made sense I don't, I don't know if that helps you but hopefully it will and yeah there's a ton of tutorials on YouTube um, if you want to draw like character art um, and things like that or if you just want to get really good with drawing anatomy in like a stylized way there's a channel called how to draw comics um, and it's really really good for doing like comic style art and learning an good like anatomy and stuff like that um, you're 21 is it too late to start drawing self-taught no no way like <laughs> that's not too young definitely not you have a lot of time um, I'm in my early 30s and I only really started to try and develop my artwork like when I was in my late 20s so you mean yeah yeah uh, yeah you can use references to get started like if you want to do a certain pose or something you can like look at photos or look up images of that pose or you can like take a picture of yourself in that pose that's I do that sometimes um, but it's kind of like it's just a good way to learn at the beginning and then like once you get comfortable with 
st once you've studied things from observation and like looked at references, then you can move on to doing it from your head. But I think it's a lot harder to do things from your head without having looked at references first. Um, it's just about studying, like understanding the shapes of things and how things move. I still struggle with it sometimes, like it is hard. But you'll get there if you just keep trying. Um, yeah, I don't know what else, what other advice to give. Yeah, definitely. Is a, it's it's like building a visual library. Yeah, for sure. Even not just with things like, not just with things like anatomy, but just objects like. It's good to just draw everything you can to kind of build up that library in your mind for like clothing and architecture and just different cultural objects and things like that. And then if you want to design a character, you can pull those things from your memory and your mind. Um, so it's not just like you're just trying to make things up. I mean, you are trying to imagine things and make things up as well. But having st like studying things is definitely good. You kind of have to do a lot <laughs> to be an artist. <laughs> like if you want to be good and you want to build a visual library, it does take a lot of work. I still feel like I haven't built enough of a library in my mind for things. But yeah, I hope that helps in some way. Um, definitely make use of YouTube tutorials though. Like, it, you can be self-taught, but it's always good to like look up what other people are doing and you might learn a technique that someone else is using and you maybe wouldn't have thought of it before and then it actually helps you to speed up your process and stuff like that. Like the thing I said about doing it rough first really helped speed things up for me and just loosened everything up and made it a lot easier to make shapes and just make things feel more natural. But yeah, it's never too late. Like, don't feel like being 21 is too late because it's you it's definitely not She says, some people say to me that I need to draw from my head. I think if I just started, I can't draw from my head. I haven't enough imagination or something. No, I don't think that's the reason. Like, I find it really hard to draw from my head. Like, I've always found it difficult. Um, yeah, if you want to put a link to your stuff or if you have it on your YouTube channel, I can check it after the stream. Um, no, I, I think that you, most artists, like to get good, you do have to look at things from the real world before you can just start drawing like amazing things from your head. I think it's a, you need to have imagination, but also 
good observational skills, I think. It's good to have a balance of both of those things. So I, I wouldn't really worry too much about what those people say. Um, I, I hope I'm making sense because I'm not saying like only use references and only draw from references because like I was saying at the start of this stream that sometimes I can like try to follow a reference too much and then it can be a bit too like rigid so I'm not saying like only use I'm not saying that I'm just saying you can start that way like if you're just starting out it's good to use references to kind of get a feel for how things work and then once you've got more comfortable with that it's a lot easier to just start drawing like a person or something Yeah, okay, I'll check out your stuff after the stream. But yeah, I mean, don't just listen to my advice either. Like, I think you need to just try things and see what works for you. Um, just try everything, like try as many things as you can, try different things. If someone tells you about a good, like, way to practice drawing, you can try it. <clears throat> like, don't get stuck into one thing. Like, don't get stuck into always using references, but don't always just try and draw something from your head either. Like, you have to try a lot of different things to find what really works for you and that can take some time especially if you're just starting but eventually you will you'll get better and you'll notice yourself get better and then just focus on that like just focus on your progress I hope that made sense. I, I don't know if I'm giving good advice, <laughs> but this is just what worked for me, so.
Oh wow, that's cool. We have someone from Russia in the chat. Vostos in Romania. So, not too far. <laughs> Yeah, I think what I've learned about drawing over the last few years, like I was kind of saying earlier, for me anyway, it's kind of like sculpting, like with clay. So that's, I think, why for me, starting with something rough and then refining it really works because I, I don't know, it's like, I'm not starting trying to make it perfect, I'm just seeing what works when I put up because I might have an idea in my head but when you actually try to make something from your head it's so hard it's never going to be like what you see in your head it's never going to be exactly what you see in your head it's going to be whatever it is that you're putting on the page so it's like you have to kind of accept that and like just work with what is tangible and for me it's like seeing what happens when I make a line go a certain way. If I make a line do this or that, what does it look like? Does it look right with all the other lines? Like, does it... I, I don't know if I'm even making sense. Like, I'm just trying to explain something that I have thought about over the last few years, but it's about working with the reality of the line or something and making a sculpture. I hope that doesn't sound stupid, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I do it anyway, but I don't know if everybody is like that, because I know some people can just kind of start drawing and it like looks amazing from the beginning. <laughs> Vostu says you give good advice, MA. Oh, I hope so. I don't know if it makes sense. It makes sense to me, but I think people have to like find what works for them by practicing. That's what it is. It's like there's theories and shit, but you've got to just practice to be able to do things. why I do a lot of erasing and redrawing because it's like I'm sculpting this image right now. Like I change colour a lot so I go from like so I have the background colour and then the, for the pencil colour and I press X to swap between them so I can just really really quickly if I need to like erase something I can just hit X and just sort of carve into it basically but I don't know if everyone works that way it just I find it easier
god, it's really hard not to start singing along to the music. <laughs> she says, it, in our country it is simply considered that the artist is not a professional career, if you understand. So I try to get two degrees of engineering and jurisprudence. Wow. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I'm from Northern Ireland originally, but I, I did... Uh, I studied animation in England and I I guess in the UK like there is more acceptance of creative people as artists but you obviously still have to like be part of an industry and go and like be a graphic designer or you know do commercial art or games art or something animation I don't know what it's like in Russia for animation degrees maybe if you went that direction um, but nowadays you have to do a lot of 3D stuff, which I didn't really enjoy that much because it's not drawing. <laughs> um, but yeah, then there are ways of making money online for sure with art, so you can do it, definitely. But uh, yeah, I know what you mean, it is difficult when it seems like there isn't a place in the society for artists. Have you ever thought about going to do a degree somewhere else that where, you know, I don't know if you can do animation or illustration degrees even in Russia, but maybe, I don't know if you've ever considered like going to say the UK or somewhere else in Europe to do a degree like that, if, if they're not available in Russia. But I guess if you've already done like two degrees, maybe you don't want to go back to university to do another one. I started studying psychology and I realized I couldn't, I just hated it, so I changed to animation. She says, when I joined our education system, it seems that some aspects, the standards of the USSR have been preserved. Yeah, well, that's interesting. It's, uh, it's not good. <laughs> well, I hope that you can find a way to make a career out of what you actually want to do. It took me like 10 years to realize that I wanted to do art as a career. And so that's why I'm like just doing this now in my 30s. I think if you can, if you can do your day job and still have energy to do art, that's not the worst thing. Because I think even if you went and studied, like I studied animation, but I still had to get a day job. Like I, I do animation in my day job, but it's not really like super creative. I work in education. We make like educational software for kids, so. I still have to do a job that I don't really feel like super passionate about and then I still have to come home after that and work on my art so I think no matter what you're probably going to have to do that so if you can you know get a job in that field that you've studied if you can do it and you're happy to do it and you can still find the time and energy to work on your art like I think that's not the worst thing and 
Yeah, that's what I'm doing <laughs> at the minute. Okay, we've got some spam in the chat now. How do I get rid of that? Oh, that's in Twitch. Sorry, I'm looking at the Twitch Twitch chat. The spam bot on Twitch says, "Wanna become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on blah blah blah, bigfollows.com." That sounds like some kind of dodgy website. <laughs> Big follows. Yeah, it's the struggle of the artist. It's like hard to make enough money. I think most artists I know online and stuff, like even the ones that are so good that you think, wow, they must just live off their art. They, they have day jobs <laughs> as well. But I don't know, I think like, if you can offer value to someone you can still use your creative skills to make money. So I do a lot of freelance work and I do things that aren't drawing, but it's like, it's like transferring my skills to making motion graphics and things and I can make money from that. So there's always a kind of trade off like in the world of creative stuff. I don't know if I'm making sense anymore, but I guess what I'm trying to say is it's you're always going to have to have a day job unless you can like really find a way to make loads of money from drawing. Some people draw furries and they make money from that. <laughs> That's uh, one way of doing it. Vosto said, Russia had a lot of animation in the past and movies Nautilus Pompilius banned. Wait, I'm going to read that again. Russia had a lot of animation in the past and movies. Nautilus Pompilius band has a very nice music video of animation. The movie Stalker is a masterpiece. It's almost like painting after painting, but with video. Yes, uh, that is a very good movie. I like that movie. I think I'm gonna have to stop soon. But I'm not finished, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. We need to do something with her torso here. I need to make her look more like she's actually pieced together.
Yeah, so let me, I'll just, uh, show you actually, like, I started with this sketch and then added a layer to it. So it's, it's like sculpting everything, making it look more solid. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish because I think it's pretty much finished. Like uh, I might add a little bit more detail to this stuff, to the stuff, the wires, <laughs> um, which Buster will be happy to know because he likes wires. Um, and then it's pretty much ready to ink, so yeah, we'll ink and color this 
over the next couple of days. I might do another stream, like over the weekend, um, show how that's going. I don't want to do the whole thing on stream, but I can do some of it, I guess. Actually, wait, I just want to add one more wire to this little bit. Okay, dog. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna finish now. Um, but thanks for everyone who interacted in the chat. Uh, and talked about my wires. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, what else do I need to say? Basically, if you want to subscribe that would be really cool. I'm going to try and do these every week because like I was saying earlier I really want to just draw more. So I'm going to try and do these probably this kind of time on a Friday like maybe try and do it every Friday after work um, and then maybe again on like Sunday or something and then maybe build up to doing it midweek but I think we'll stick with Fridays and maybe Sundays for now and see how that goes see if people are interested and yeah like if you want to follow me I'm also on Twitter and Instagram and everything um, just under the same name as this channel. I'm also doing a comic book, a uh, crowdfunder for my comic book at the minute so if anybody's interested in that you can find all the links to that on all my social media and everything. Um, so it's a second issue of my comic book and you can get issues one and two if you, uh, if you want to Fun. If you back it on Kickst uh, on Indiegogo, you can pledge to get either the second issue by itself, or you can get it with the first issue as well. Yeah, so I guess that's everything. I am going to end the stream now, so I know there are people chatting in the chat. I don't know if it stays open when the thing ends, probably not. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Chi, I will check out your stuff. I'm just gonna stream, uh, scroll back to where you said your deviant art was. Actually, let me see. Okay, yeah, I'll check out your YouTube and your deviant art, and I'll follow you and stuff. So thanks for joining the chat and joining the stream. And yeah, sorry to hear about the <laughs> not so good situation there, but I hope that you can find a way to m make a life out of what you like to do. And I hope that you can, yeah, just like do more artwork because it's really fun and makes me happy <laughs> to draw. So I just say, just keep practicing and s watch yourself develop. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end now, so yeah, thanks everyone, and I'll see you next week, or maybe on Sunday.